kill you. Why? Why would you want to kill me? Before we get into this video, I just want to say, if you guys have been watching my content for the past couple years, you know that I have always had this clothing brand called MILFs Only. It's something that means a lot to me. I even have the word MILF tattooed on my leg. Recently, we decided to hit the drawing board again, and we came up with a bunch of new designs. We completely just rebranded the entire clothing line. And the first drop of MILFs Only just went live right now. If you guys love that washed garment look, that heavyweight feel, and you need some new summer t-shirts, it is live right now. ShopMILFs.com. Pick yourself up something for the summer, and ladies, if we're watching this, get your boyfriend something nice for the summer. With that being said, let's get into one of the worst possible prank ideas we have ever filmed on this channel. All right, that's good, thanks. Don't take your coat. <laughs> Okay, it is, uh, it's been a couple days since we filmed this video. When I was editing this, I just felt like it was gonna be best if I just sat the camera down and I kinda walked you guys through what was happening. So Nick's been my buddy for a couple years now and he's even been in a few of my videos. Ah, <laughs> yes! Like, what, what kind of jacket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to bring my personal drama on social media, but long story short, he hung out with Ryan's girl and lied to him about it. He called my girlfriend a bitch. And all this week, he has been trying to get in contact with Ryan and I, trying to talk it out and trying to make things right. Yo, bro, what are you doing? And that is when we came up with possibly one of the worst prank ideas known to man. <laughs> I'm not fucking texting him. <laughs> Dude, you, please, you have to. Why would I do it? Bro, why would I do it? Your <laughs> fucking video. Yeah, no, but you're a part of it. Dude, all the Germans were part of it. Heads, you text Nick. Yo, are you free tonight? Tails, I have to text him. All right, Tails never fails. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Five bucks. <laughs> no, that means Ryan's gotta hit up Nick. Okay, let me reference something. It's not like we don't like Nick. Truthfully, at the end of the day, he's got a good heart. He just gets really fucked up constantly and just makes horrible decisions and choices. <laughs> well, I lost the coin flip. You gotta hit him with something that's like reasonable. Believable. You know? Yeah, it's gotta be believable. Oh, if you wanna talk tonight, me and Jacob are both free. No, I don't know if you throw me in the mix. You can't throw me in the mix yet because he's gonna think we're. I'm pranking him. Like if you just say you at first and then he's like, oh, I'm down. And then you're like, oh, I'm actually going to Jacob's. Do you want me to call him and see if you can come? He's obviously going to say yes. And then you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. He said you're good to come. If you, if you hit him up and we're both together right now, he's going to be like, oh, what the fuck are they playing? What's your passcode? Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Here's a little fun fact about Nerf. For the longest time, I swear to God, for the past five years, his passcode on his phone has been Rip X. Dude, I can't, I can't even make this shit up. So I guess Ryan just got a text that Nick has nothing going on tonight and that he is down to hang. As of right now, our game plan is a couple nights ago, my girlfriend met three girls in our apartment pool. Our original idea was to hit up these girls that my girlfriend met a few nights back, have one of them kiss Nick and then tell Nick that she is 16 years old and then I followed up by you know pressing Nick for kissing a minor in my apartment so on and so forth pretty fucked up idea but it's not as fucked up as this murder prank but my girlfriend was not on board to give us their numbers to pull off this prank we're about to ask my girlfriend the million dollar question so you remember when you hung out with those chicks in the pool I don't know. we need them we genuinely have no idea what to say to that? Dude, you had to say yes! We need to know. We have to contemplate doing that. Well, because if they say no, we need to come up with a plan B. Plan B is we're paying off a homeless guy to like fake rob him. Are you really gonna out Nick online like that? I called my girlfriend a bitch. You don't do that shit. There's a lot of things we gotta do in order for this video to turn out a success. Oh my god, wait, that dog's eating our pussy. Stop. Oh, okay, alright, alright, we're not showing that. We'll blur it. You guys can find that on OnlyFans. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to do it! She's just broken. She's what? Broken herself. That didn't look like. That's not Bestia. You want to see fucking Bestia? I guess the first plan of attack for tonight to be a success is uh, we gotta go to the liquor store. I mean, what, what else are you supposed to do? If we want to prank Nick, we gotta act like Nick. And Nick is drunk 24 7, so we gotta get drunk. Drinking a German beer with a Cuban cigar in the middle of Ryan and I were taking a little detour to the liquor store. Some people say money can't buy happiness, but money can buy liquor, and that makes me happy. Clap along if you feel when we get back to my apartment, that's when we're gonna find out if my girlfriend will allow us to have these three random chicks over. Or if not, I mean, worst case scenario, there really is no plan B, which is really 
fucked up. We have no idea what we're gonna do if she says, hey, they can't come over, or hey, I don't really want them to come over. Kind of stressing right now, because we, we don't have a plan B at all. I think worst case scenario, we just pay a homeless guy 20 bucks to pretend to, to rob Nick, uh, but that video idea kind of seems a lot weaker than a girl literally saying she is 16 years old, and then your friend saying they're gonna call the cops on you for kissing a 16 year old. That's insane. But let me clarify, Nick deserves it. He should be able to agree that he deserves it. He deserves it. I understand this prank is way too far, but if there is one person on the planet that deserves it, I mean, I guess it would probably be Hitler, but second runner up would definitely be Nick. Oh, we just got some bad news. My girlfriend is not down to have the three random girls that she met at the pool over at her apartment. This is not ideal at all right now. So here's the thing. Uh, Nick just called Ryan while we were inside of Target. Yo, my phone's about to die. I'll call you right back. All right, bro. All right, later. So we know Nick is down to hang, but as well as that, Tanner is with Nick. And Tanner doesn't really film with us anymore. No, no bad blood. He just doesn't, I don't know. He's on his own path. The girl from the UK that he met a while ago that I also showed on the vlog, uh, he's planning on marrying her. He's going to start his life. He's living his best life. But my fear is Tanner might tell Nick that we're pranking him. So I don't know, there's a lot that we need to figure out right now. I need some motivation, man. I need something to get me going, something that's gonna just put my mental in the right spot. I'm gonna blast some good music and head home. So it's a definite no on them? Cause we just need no, so that way we can come up with like a alternative I game plan. I feel comfy like inviting them back into our apartment, honestly. Even for like a video, like they're not gonna hang out. I just don't want to. Like, I just feel like if like their vibe, like it, my intuition is telling me no. All right, well, your wish is my command. Okay, I love you. I'm sorry. No, I don't. Don't feel if bad. I had other friends, I'd be more down, but just. I'm trying to think who else would. It's a good idea, but also like we can't do it with just one girl. You know, like we can't just like, that's so sus if like we have one girl that is down to do it. And then, you know, the prank, it's like, I don't know. To me, it's like, you kind of have to have a group going or else it's like, it just looks too set up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have any other prank ideas we could pull on Nick or no? I don't know. If you were trying to prank Nick, what would you do? I mean, Nick's just gullible. Like, you don't even have to take it that far. Like, yeah, but he deserves like, it. Come on now. He'll be hurt as fuck about basically anything you want to So just make fun of his dead dog? What? His dog just died last week. Should we make fun of that? <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Okay, all right, Nerf and I are gonna brainstorm and we'll be home in a sec. We're gonna come up with a plan B. Okay. All right, yeah. love you too, bye. It's gotta be something out there. Nerf and I, we only somehow make it work. We're gonna find a way to make it work. It's just the issue is we can't just have one girl. Like that's so sus. Oh, maybe we fucking hire her. Or is that a guy? That's a guy. That's a chick with a dick. Is that fucking Chris from Mr. Beast? Because we can't have the three girls over, we really don't know what to do with Nick, but uh, I mean, hey man, we already went to the liquor store. Personally, I think the best ideas come from when you're drunk, so. Cheers to that. <laughs> Hello? Hey, uh, when do you want me heading over? Have you talked to Jacob yet? Um, I haven't, I was gonna talk to him when I get there. Okay, uh, okay. I'll send the tanner son real quick and then just give me a text or call when you know. Okay. Send it to Oh no, what the fuck do we do? So Nick, he's down to come anytime. The issue is we don't know what we're gonna do. When I said earlier in the video that he has disrespected my girlfriend, he has disrespected my girlfriend at Ryan and I's old apartment complex. It was a whole ordeal, a whole confrontation. So we were thinking of some prank ideas. Obviously we came up with the un girl idea we came up with a few other ideas and the idea that we fully landed on is to make him think I'm about to fucking kill him so the game plan is we're gonna go to big five we're gonna purchase a fake gun I don't really feel like I'm one to be scary with a gun but since Nick and I's pass he's probably gonna believe it we're gonna have our cute little talk with Nick question him about why he did the things he did why he said the things he said I didn't accuse you of shit mm -hmm. you immediately jumped the gun you just started just and it's at that moment when I will start pressing him, I will threaten to beat his ass. And I know Nick, and I know he's petty enough to maybe be a little resilient, and that is when I'm going to pull out the fake gun. I want to kill you. Why would you want to kill me?
to the people that are watching at home just know this is a fake weapon this is not real you will watch us buying it it is a bb gun please don't use weapons as props for videos it is not cool it is not funny it might be the most fucked up prank we've ever done but i mean fuck it they don't like to talk, they be shy me. This is Let's get this fake Glock. <laughs> Nick, when you're watching this, I just want to say, uh, this wasn't my idea, it was all nerfs. So don't blame me, blame nerf. It is only 7.18 in the afternoon right now, and for some reason their doors are locked. Open the door. We just drove 15 minutes to get here. See, I wouldn't be that stressing right now, other than the fact, I feel like the longer we wait, the more likely it is that Nick is not gonna want to hang out tonight. How is it closed? You're understaffed? I just wanna buy one thing. I just wanna buy one thing. I, ca I can't fucking hear you. I, I still can't fucking hear you. Man, un unreal with y'all, dude. All right, whatever, fuck y'all. All right, let's go to the next one. Understaffed, bro. With your body weight, dude, you make up for two employees. Ra -da -da -da. Ra -da -da -da. You guys see that meme? You're missing a word, but. I can't say that word. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot how real this looked, bro. You guys thought drinking during an AM meeting was bad? <laughs> Motherfucker, you wait. Do some shit, I sell dope for a full finger ring. One of them go ropes, then it told me. It's not too far, right? It's a little, it's too far. You think? They called you a bitch. And so he should fear for his life. Not that you don't think, like, maybe this is like a little too much. So what, what's a game play? We just invite him over? What's up, dude? I don't know. Fucking help us, man. You're supposed to be the producer. <laughs> bro, we look like fucking alcoholics in this bitch, bro. It's because we are. Um, I'm a little nervous right now. I, I really, I promise you guys watching at home, I do not drink this much at all. I'm just drinking because, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm about to film a YouTube video where I literally pretend to shoot someone in the fucking head. Anyway, we need to come up with a game plan because Nick is about to be on his way over. He'll probably be here in the next 20 minutes or so. Ryan and I, the only game plan we have is we purchased a $150 realistic looking gun. Outside of that, we have no idea what we're gonna say, do, or intend for this prank to go. So I guess for the next 20 minutes, we're just gonna come up with a good script, a good acting idea, and just run with it when Nick gets here. This is me pulling a gun on Nick. Part one, take one. For this experiment, we're gonna have that lays bag be Nick. Oh, f no. Probably a little more aggression. Yeah. All right. Oh, f no. Should I act more like hood? I, I don't wanna say this, should I? A little more black? <laughs> oh, fuck no! Can you pretend to be Nick and tell me if the act is good? Um, how, how should I act? Here's the thing, we have the $150 gun, right? He's coming. If you sound like a fucking, if you're like, oh, fuck no, like, he's not gonna believe you. Well, I think once I get in the moment, like, oh, I'll get in the moment. I think it's just one of those things. Oh, fuck no. What is he gonna do I'm gonna just gas at him until, like, like, no matter what he says, obviously we're gonna have a talk tonight and he's going to admit his wrongs. I already know that, but Nick's also the type of guy to, like, admit his wrongs without admitting his wrongs. But, like, yeah, I'm sorry for this, but, like, to be fair, you know, like, that's the type of motherfucker he is. Like, when he hits me with the to be fair, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck no. <laughs> I don't wanna be involved with what? this. What? I think this is a bad idea. Why? And I don't wanna be involved. What do you mean? I'm leaving. No, you can't leave. I mean, damn. <clears throat> You can't leave. <laughs> Girlfriend's not fucking with the prank. But guess what? The show must go on. Dude, this is bad. We really have no fucking game plan. All right, well, I, I feel like low-key I got my acting down of how I'm gonna pull the gun out. Obviously, I'm gonna do it way better when it, you know, the time comes. But uh, we have another actor involved in this <laughs> prank and that's Nerf. We need to find out because Nerf's gonna be sitting right next to Nick. We need to make sure that Nerf has somewhat of a believable reaction. Even though I'm acting good, if Nerf isn't acting good, it's just gonna sell it, so. I'm Nerf Gun Ryan, this is scene one, take one, of me acting like Jacob just pulled a gun. Okay, what the flip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Nick just called me while we were doing those uh, shitty acting bits. At least Jacob's was shitty, mine was fucking heat. Yo. Hey, hey, I'm here. 
Oh, you're here? Yeah. Okay, we'll come down and grab you. Alright, sounds good. See you in a second. Our acting is so far. We missed a call while we were doing the acting shit, and he's randomly here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What the fuck do we do? Should I mic up and then just turn it on when we fucking do the prank? I don't think this big ass chode mic's gonna fucking work. I'm not doing this, dude. That big ass microphone is not gonna work. No, dude, I'm not fucking doing this. And now it was at this point where we knew it was gonna be a little bit hard to film. Nick has been around us filming and he's been around us pranking people multiple times. The thing about it when you make prank videos, if you're ever fucking with someone like even one of your friends they're always going to be looking for a camera so we knew if we were gonna pull this off we had to keep the cameras in the office where I normally have them sitting on my desk I had Ryan film as much as he could on his iPhone but it was kind of tricky to be able to record without him catching on because if he caught on the whole prank was gonna go to shit. this honestly I think this is the worst prank we've ever filmed like genuinely I don't think it gets much worse than that for the next hour that we hung out with Nick, I just acted weird. I purposely got in arguments with my girlfriend. I think everyone that's in this room. I don't understand the point of trying to make. Can you just say thanks? To what? I said I hope you said thanks. Yeah, I said thanks. I did not believe you. When I drove Nick and I to the liquor store, I was listening to Young Boy. I was just acting like a fucking menace. And it worked. He completely believed it. You seem like you're in the gun. I what? You seem like you're in a down mood. Down mood? No. Oh. What's up, I'm not in a down mood. I just need to wake up. The whole goal of this was to plant a seed in Nick's head that I had some type of anger issues. Hence why I would non-stop argue with my girlfriend. Am I crazy or do I just understand you? And while I was arguing with my girlfriend, Nick decided to show Nerf a video from his phone. Yo, ever heard of Jerkmate? After a couple more minutes of arguing, Nerf and I decided to sit Nick down to have a conversation about where he went wrong in our friendship. I don't, I, I, I've kind of learned to not deal with drama this past few months. I know that. So I'm like I, I just bro. I don't. I don't. You know me. No, but I mean, I mean in terms of her. I mean in terms of her. Okay, okay. You know, like, I've just learned to just not deal with it, and the people that cause it, I know how to handle it immediately. Do you think I'm one that cause drama? I don't know. Nick and I talked for about 10 minutes, and then Ryan and him started talking, which is also when Nick got distracted, so I found a perfect window to turn on the main camera. Look at you, look at you, look at you. I'm tired of this fucking lady drama, dude. Drop the fucking lady drama. I'm cool with it. I'm talking about this. I'm cool. You guys gotta talk about this another day. It's fine. No, no I'm. You two gotta figure your shit. You know. Can we talk about our shit then, Jacob? I mean, there's nothing really to talk about, right? Well, I want no. I I want to figure out why you're upset. With but you use my low point in my life where I came to you. Oh, I see what you're saying. As um, leverage. Yes, yes, yes. As any I, argument, I and that shit. I don't know, it's just, okay. hold up, I need a sec, I need a sec, bro. Okay. It's just, I don't know, sorry. dude. I don't know if it's... I'm sorry, I love you overall, dude. I can, uh, hold I'm up, sorry, hold I don't have any harm intentions. Hold up. I was just getting furious over it. I love you, I love you. I love you, bro. Dude, I shouldn't have said that, you're right. With what? The Chloe stuff. What'd you say? I want to hear you say it. Okay, I probably shouldn't have. You're right. You're fully right. But, but what have you said? When Chloe broke up with you, I was there for you, but now you live with that bitch. 
Normally I'd never upload a video that is this far fetched onto YouTube because I gotta worry about age restrictions, my channel getting striked, or even having limited ads. Which is why a couple months ago I partnered up with a YouTuber under the name Ross Creations and I joined his website realpranks.com. I don't have to worry about any of the things that I gotta worry about with YouTube on that site, so I'm able to kinda let loose a little bit. Even two days ago I uploaded a video on realpranks.com of me returning shoes covered in dog shit. I think she pissed me off, bro. Yes, you did. I swear to God. Yes, you did, bro. Don't piss me off. Yes, you did. Please don't. I'm not gonna hurt you, bro. I I don't fight. I don't fight. Maybe okay. Even if I did, Jacob. I just shoot. I didn't mean it in any any sense. Okay. Whatever. But my point was trying to that I was trying to make is like, I'm there for you. Why can't you be there for me? Yeah, yeah. But we're we're talking two different situations. We're talking. A situation no, like, where I genuinely was hurting and I needed someone and I didn't do anything wrong. And then we're talking a situation where you went and low key, you had your own bomb on your body. You know, you're the one that detonated it. What, no what, one else what's detonated that, what's it. That, what's that bomb situation? What, explain it to me. And then fucking Boston Marathon bombing. They no, explain, no, explain the- I don't know, I killed a couple of people. That's all I know of it. No, explain, like, what you mean the second. Oh, you wanted me to be there for you. Yes, I would For a situation to. that you caused with my best friend. I you mean, lied. Man. You when lied. Just admit you lied. Be a fucking man, bro. Later admit on, you lied. Yeah, just admit you right, fucking I lied, bro. Lie, just admit you fucking lied. I told you you right. lied, bro. I'm not going to be there for someone that fucking lies. You fucking lied. You lied your ass off that night. Just admit it, dude. Be a fucking I man, I did. bro. I did. I did. I did. So quit expecting me to be there for you when you're lying. I love you, Jacob. I love no, you. And I understand completely. No, you don't, bro. I do. How do you want me to prove that to you? Oh, that's racing, dude. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Turn towards me. Don't punch me, please. I'm not gonna punch you. But you don't fucking love me. I love you. I love you. And I would do anything for the world for you. No, you don't, no, I would. I would. I want to kill you. Why? Why would you want to kill me? I have to get out of my closet. Why would you want to do that? I want to get the gun. Yo. Just say sorry. It's real. Do it. Just say I so sorry. To see I so sorry. Bro, I'm trying to have a real Dude, fuck. We're fucking bro. Come on. It's not cool. Yes, it is, bro. It's not cool. Bro, you know what's not cool? It's not cool. I need to get home. Bro, I'm not cool. I don't even know what to say, really. Um, Nick came over today. We ended up sorting it all out. We're all good now. I hung out with him pretty much all day. All the way up until this morning, he had no idea it was even a prank. So he went to sleep last night thinking that I genuinely was about to kill him. That's what made me so sad is literally the second I pulled the gun on him, he just said, shoot me. And I was like, fuck. That's the hard part about pranks. You never know what, what is crossing the line and what is right on the line of, hey, this is kind of funny. But I mean, truth be told, Ryan and I, we picked up the camera like five minutes ago. We just started raw filming. I'm really just trying to show you guys more so about my life, document my life. I think the plan for the channel is, is to document me and my friends' 20s, you know? I think for the past six to eight months on YouTube, we've been trying so hard to just chase views, chase clout, chase money, that it's honestly just killed all of our drives and passions for YouTube. I've been so focused around retention and intros and thumbnails that I honestly forgot, yo, let's just have fun with this. So at this point going forward, that's what we're gonna do, is strictly have fun with it. Even today, Ryan and I, we were debating about doing that live stream in stores prank. Do I know if I did it, would it get views? Fuck yeah, it would probably get way more views than what this video is about to get. You know, I'm doing YouTube not just because I love making videos and I love YouTube and I love the money, but I wanna be able to look back in 40, 50 years time and watch these videos. It's like a little time capsule, that's what's cool. Yeah, I guess to end off this video on a positive note, Nick and I, we're all good now. Uh, I mean, yeah, he still fucked Ryan's bitch though. Hey, ask me how I did it, I'm telling them grace. Ask me how I 